away from the building. What's wrong? That's it. One day. Gotta go. Bitch, remove yourselves from the location. I understand you first. Remove yourselves from the location at this time. We got another tower collapse. exactly what was happening, but I knew it was really bad because there was a big cloud of debris covering Manhattan. We flew past New York City and saw the effects of that attack on that city. That's when it really became painful because it was like seeing a wound in the side of, of, of your country, of your family, your friends. I was visiting Williamsburg and there was a veteran uh, touring the grounds. Uh, he needed a little help up one of the sets of steps, and so I helped him a little bit, and we started talking, and I told him I had seen the attack on Afghanistan from above. And then I told him I was the commander of the space station, and he uh, immediately started asking questions and wanted to know more. This is a guy who lost part of the use of an arm. He's lost both his legs. His life has changed dramatically. However, the first thing he said to me is, that's one of the best things we're doing. We have to work together internationally, or we'll never solve all these problems. The young men and women that are putting their lives on the line in Afghanistan and Iraq and, and other places around the world to ensure that this doesn't happen again and to help keep us free are the real heroes here. I think it's important for people to continue to learn the lessons from this and make sure that we are, in fact, making ourselves a better country as a result of it, not regressing or turning inward or changing ourselves into a society that we won't be proud to pass on to our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I had the privilege uh, to talk to a school that was a couple of blocks away from Ground Zero and meet those kids and teachers in person. They were close to Ground Zero, but they were optimistic, and that's our future. The sun will rise on.